Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters. Praise, glory, and honor be to our omnipotent, sovereign God who's given us another first day of the week, an ending of a holy convocation. Amen. Praise God. Today is the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles when the Lord, the Feast of Booths, for all of you that are obeying God's word. Amen. Praise God. And we sit here, we get to fellowship. So I invite you always around this servant of God whenever I am on here, wherever I'm at. And when the Lord gives us, amen, instructions. The master left us instructions for us to follow, saints, you servants, you disciples, you children of the Most High God, even you. Amen. From the least one to the greatest. Amen. To sit here and do and seek his will and seek and follow his ways. Amen. And not the ways of this world. As many people in this day and age, saints, and all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. Y'all sugarcoat the gospel too much. Amen. And nobody's getting delivered. There's no conviction. There's no correction. There's no truth. Truthfully. Because remember, half a truth is still a whole lie. Amen. No matter how we choose to sit here and sugarcoat it or accept it, a lie is a lie. Is a lie is a lie. Amen. Praise God. But we know that the Master sits here and tells us in, in Matthews, in, in different scriptures, in Luke and in Matthew and Mark, he says, Blessed is, is the servants that when, when, when the master comes, finds us doing, amen, praise God. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, amen. How many people have this in these days, in these time spirits? And I'm talking to you, my beloved brothers and sisters there, that are born of the, of the spirit and truth, amen. Are you out here telling those, even those in your church goers, remember, and I'll say this again, you evangelize and worry about these people that are out there lost. You know, there's more people that are lost that are reading these scriptures and professing the Christ because they choose to not sit here and obey and follow everything that the word has told us. As the master has told us in, in Matthew, Matthew 8, 28, the last verse, he says, All authority has been given unto the Christ, my master. Bless your holy name, Lord. And he commanded us to go. And teach everything that he has commanded us to us. Amen. And remember, the Christ is the full word. So while we're celebrating the, uh, his holy convocations, are you spirits letting your, your lips sit here and speak the word of truth? Even to the ones in the church, even to them pastors. A lot of them that are taught by the world spirits. Please, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you brothers and sisters. That God has ordained at these end times to raise up. To raise up and to tell and speak it. Remember, they're not your words and you got to love them. You got to love people like Christ loved us and quickened us to raise us from death to life. Who he wills. And we spoke about that uh, on this last video. Amen. As he tells us in John. He says, it, he says in the scripture for us to be made one with him. And the only way that we're, any of us are going to be made one with him is to obey everything that he has said and have that desire that was instilled in Master Christ to want to serve the Lord, to want to sit here and do everything that the Master has commanded us to, not half-stepping, but fully, amen, and speaking to people. It's a holy convocation this week. No, that's not permissible for us. We are a holy people. We are a holy nation. God calls us out unto righteousness. Amen. Praise God. And nothing else. Righteous and just way, spirits. And many people are half said, oh, I got to it tomorrow. That's a lot. That's what the devil and other people that are falling in the weakened and beggarly elements of the, the state of their flesh and the world still having those desire spirits to do the things that are or of the flesh to do the things that are worldly and not according to the full gospel of salvation in Christ Jesus in obedience from death to life. Remember, he bore your sin and shame. He bore your judgment. He bore your, but you, you face it because when we're standing before the Almighty because you never sit here and follow through with your end. He says he came to fulfill a prophecy and he did his. He finished his work. That's why he said it is finished. A lot of you spirits sit here and, and take that and twist it up. Thinking, and even then when you do that, 
and you say, when he says, oh, it is finished, well, then so should your weakness, your excuses, your desires, so should be your strongholds, your bondages, your shackles, your chains. That should be finished. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So each day, saints, come to the Lord. Reconcile yourselves unto the Creator. The I am, AIA, the Savior, Yahshua, Isias, the Christ. And may, may it be spoken. For what He has spoken and purpose shall stand. For every nation, tribe, and tongue, it shall be and come to pass. May it be as spoken for your good and not for evil, for he shows partiality to no one. For many have transgressed and have broken the everlasting covenant, changed ordinances, altered statutes. Many have returned to the sins of their forefathers, and many of you spirits have done and do more evil than them. Jeremiah 16, 11 through 12. Come back and return to the Lord in truth, for our days are numbered. Praise the Lord. I'm going to show you at the end where all this is written. Amen. Because I am a servant of the Most High God. Amen. Ordained by the hand of the Creator, El Elohim, in His mighty right hand. Amen. So let us pray. We're going to praise. We're going to worship the living God, saints. Amen. We're going to sing a song or two. This is to encourage you, spirits. You're supposed to be stones bold like a lion roar, ain't you? Ain't, ain't, don't y'all say that? But are you doing that? In truth. And letting the light of the Lord be in you. Amen. Because it, it's his light. Even in the darkness, beloved brothers and sisters, we shine like the stars, like the lights that we are, that the Creator has sit here and made us to be. My Master Christ, washing us Amen. Washing our, our spots and our blemishes. Washing us and setting us new. In obedience to the Father. Let us pray and we're going to read some scriptures. For my brothers and my sisters that are out there. Amen. Praise God. Even you the ones that are looking from the outside in. That are still stuck in your flesh. And obeying just selectively what you choose to want. To obey. Amen. Praise God. For Christ obeyed and showed us the example of what it is to obey from death to life. Amen. Praise God. Let us pray, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. I love y'all. I love you. God loves you. God loves you so much that He sent His only begotten Son to die for you. But for you not to remain the same or stuck in your excuses or stuck in in oh, it, it's just it ain't too hard. It's it's here that's not too hard. You your worst. We're we're our worst enemies. Amen. We make excuses to continue living, and then we're easily influenced because we've trained the flesh. To just go. Amen. And now it's time for you to retrain that flesh. Spirits. And start bringing it into subjection. So you can be walking full. And living in the spirit. Amen. And Heavenly Father thank you so much for this day. That you've given us to rejoice and be glad in you. To love you for who you are Father God. And everything that you have done for us. Not everything that you're going to do for us. Because you've already done it. It's already been written Father God. It's already been done. You've already spoken it. For the evil and for the good, from every nation, every tribe, and every tongue. Almighty God, I ask you in this day that you sit here and bless your servants, bless your called, bless your chosen, bless your elect, bless your children that are obeying your voice and your word, Father God, in obedience and truth, and celebrating you and giving you glory and thanking you, Father God, as we sit here and close out the Feast of Booths, Father God, the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles where you dwell with us, Lord. We love you more than life itself, Lord. And we thank you that you give us the privilege and the opportunity, even more for your Holy Spirit to teach us, to guide us, to light our way, Father God, to strengthen us and to give us the courage to deliver us by your mighty right hand, Father God, by your words that were spoken from, from the days of old, Father God. You ordained us unto the eternal. Show us what it is to be free and found in you, Father God, for many people that are living selected, Father God, and still do not understand you, Lord. I love you more than life itself, for above you there is no one, Father God. Each and every day I ask you to bless this reservation that I'm on, Father God, for I already know that you've spoken, Lord. You've spoken and you've said things, Lord. 
And many people are still without understanding of why people are perishing, Father God, because they choose to want to live selectively. They choose to want to sit here and be disobedient when you tell us that for all those that are covenant breakers and all those that are being disobedient for you, Father God, it is written in your word that their names will be written on the on this earth, Lord. The truth, all of us are going to die, but some of us are going to be laying upright, Father God, as you say in your word, in peace, Father God, while many people are not. We love you more than life itself. Keep leading us. Keep teaching us, Father God. Keep strengthening our spirit and keep touching us with the Holy Spirit to sit here and bring our, our body into subjection and to bring our lives in order and align with everything that you have written for us to keep your commandments, your holy convocations, your holy feasts, the way we dress, the way we speak, the way we carry ourselves, Father God. For you have mapped us out from the time that we wake up to the time that we go to sleep. You say pray without ceasing. For us to dress even our sisters, modest and casual and pair, not dressed like the way they are in these days, Father God. But you are watching everything for nothing is hidden from your eyes, Father God. And everything is written in the books for us when we are standing before you, Father God. We're asking you to forgive all those that are out there, Father God. Even all of us, Father God, if we have done something that have sinned against you, Lord, and being disobedient to anything and everything that you have written, Father God, give us the desire and touch our hearts to sit here and draw closer to you in these holy convocations, for that's what they're made for, to sit here and come close to you and celebrate with you the whole week. Celebrate you, Father God. Not ourselves, not our flesh, not exalt the world, not try to look um, haunting, not try to sit here and do anything. But sit here and glorify and honor you, Father God, and praise you. For you're the only thing that is worthy to be spoken of. You're the only thing that is worthy, Father, to be glorified. You're the only thing that's worthy to be praised. For you are our praise, Father God. As these praises go up, let your presence come down, Father God. And, and as we, we thank you for all the provisions that you have done for even our forefather, God, our forefathers, Holy Father, that were still stubborn and knuckleheads throughout the time that you let perish in the wilderness. And many people don't consider that you say it in your word that all of them, the mighty warriors <clears throat> that came out of Egypt would not see the promised land, Father God. We love you more than life itself, Father God, and we thank you. I thank you. I glorify you and I honor you, Father God, with my life. Lord, being changed by you, your love changes us, Father God. Your love does not keep us the same. Your love changes us, Lord. Your love sit here and your truth sit here and, and comes and keeps us going in that manner. Bless my brothers and my sisters from every nation, every tribe, and every tongue, Father God. I'm asking you that your mercy be upon all those disobedient, Father God, and you start leading them, Father God. You tell us in your word that your teachers, your shepherds, your your Ministers, we're not going to be hidden anymore, Father God. And we're out here in the open and people don't see because we don't come appealing to their eyes. Just like my Master Christ didn't come appealing to their eyes, Father God. <laughs> but I bless your holy name and I thank you so much that you've given me the opportunity to carry your holy covenant, Father God. Not only in my mouth, but in my heart and in my life. I faith and believe you, Lord, I know that you are working. Bless those, Father God, that are out there. Touch them, Holy Spirit, to sit here and change them to come back to you, Father God, and choose for our days are numbered. In Christ the shield and shield, Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. On this day. Now let's let us see. We're gonna sing a couple of praise and worship songs. Thank the Lord, Spirit. We gotta thank the Father, the Creator, the Great I Am, the Lord of hosts is his name and name. Amen. The 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 God of angel armies. Amen. Praise God who dwell around us. Glory, glory, I've been singing since I lay my burdens down. Since I lay, I lay my burden down. I'm singing hallelujah. God is able, hallelujah. God is able, hallelujah. Oh, I'm gonna sing. Tabakushebe ulewa. I've been singing. 
feel better, so much better since I lay my burden down. Yeah, I feel better, so much better since I lay. I lay my burden down. I'm singing hallelujah, God is able, hallelujah, God is able, hallelujah, oh I'm gonna sing, I'm singing hallelujah, God is able, hallelujah, God is able, hallelujah, oh I'm gonna sing. I'm alive, there's gonna be praise. As long as I'm alive, there's gonna be shouting. The deep thing that I know, oh, deep down in my soul. As long as I'm alive, there's gonna be Praise the Lord, amen? Each and every day, each and every day, saints, we got to praise the Lord, amen? God is too good for us not to give him glory and honor him and praise him for all that he has done. Amen. For keeping us in the wilderness. For doing all the things that he says that he's purposed, saints. Anything that my master has purposed and he has said, it shall pass, it shall stand and it shall come to pass. And he tells us. Amen. Praise God. So, let's sing another one. I like to praise God. Amen. Who can bear my burdens? Who can bring the healing? To this bird that we hold Who else can part the waters When I need it away Though I'm walking through the valley I believe what you say I believe what you say For the good, for the good He works all things together For the good, for the good You promised Forever. You alone are the greatest truth. I trust you on the broken road. You work all things together like only you could. For the good. Lord, your ways are higher. You know your plans for us. You see purpose and the future. Even when we can't see. Good, for the good, you work all things together. 
for the good, for the good, you promised and forever. You alone are the greatest truth, I trust you on the broken road. You work all things together like only you could, for the good, those who love him, those who love you, for the good. And I know you're working. I believe, I believe. Good things are coming, good things are coming. I believe, I believe. For the good, for the good. You work all things together. For the good, for the good. Your promise stands forever. You alone are the greatest truth. I trust you on the broken road. You work all things together like only you could. For the good, those who love you, those who love you. For the good, those who love you, those who love you. I know he's working, I know he's working. I believe, I believe. Good things are coming, good things are coming. I believe. I believe, I know he's working, I know he's working, I believe, I believe, good things are coming, good things are coming, I believe, I believe. Do you believe, beloved brothers and sisters, truly? Amen? So each and every day, you know, the Lord has instructed us, in these end times, you saints, and you call, you chosen, and you elect. Amen. Praise God. I'm talking to my brothers and my sisters that are called for greater. That have been called to the eternal. Amen. Praise God. Who, who before the foundations of the earth, it tells us in Revelations, our names were written. Amen. We were ordained for a time such as this, as Esther tells us. Amen. Praise God to, in these times, to rise up and to start speaking the truth to those that are out there. Many people that are ordained by the world, they hold a gospel that is that fully does not deliver because they got to follow the statutes and the, the ways of this world. We follow the ways of the Lord. Amen. Praise God in all things. That's why there's no correction, there's no conviction, there's no, there's no uh, deliverances happening. Because people's faith is in what man is teaching them and not what God has ordained for us to keep in these end times. Amen. Praise God. And no, we're not no better than anybody else. We just choose to be different. Amen. Praise God. We choose to be what Christ had called us to be, a, a, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. We, we, we believe this we, and we live it. Amen. So we know that we don't have to sit here and uh, do as this world. We don't follow the traditions of man. or We, we follow what God has done because that's, that's what draws him closer to us. When we're being obedient and following his holy convocations and, glory, and doing it the way he wants us to. The Father tells us from how we should dress, how you should conduct yourself. Amen. Praise God. To how you should be speaking. No perverse and crooked or corrupt communication. No court gesturing. Not all this. That doesn't mean to be all. There's, there's ways to be righteous and just. And walk this earth saints. There's ways for you spirits to sit here. And conduct yourself where you're not perverse and crooked. And have to feel like you have to follow that way. Or take on that cloak to be accepted. Because God tells us in our word. In his word. That we're not going to be accepted. That he prepares us so that we, will, when we are falling into all them things and all these ways, spirits, that we are celebrating things in a different manner, in a different light, because we're following the way. We're following the truth. We're following the light to eternal life. Amen? Being born again by the Spirit, being touched by his Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, to sit here and feel you and encamp around you and convict you and correct you. Amen. See, that's not that's not for me. I'm a different. I'm different. 
I'm set apart. Are you set apart? Are you celebrating what God has told you to do? I mean, he tells us to teach. Matthew 28. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, not believers. Amen. Praise you, Lord. He says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the, to the end of the age. Amen. Praise God. And he is spirit. He is spirit. Amen. For what God has said and what he has purposed, spirits, it's going to come to pass. Our days are numbered and blessed are you. He says, blessed. Amen. He says, blessed are you. Blessed are those servants who the Lord, when he comes, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Matthew 24, 46 also tells us we have to be doing what he commanded us to do. Go out there be that light in the darkness. If he tells you to go speak these words to your congregation or Bible study or whatever, you speak it. So that way they maybe they can consider. But nobody can hear them words. Unless a preacher is sent. Sent. Amen. Praise God. Y'all getting that? Because we're not here. We're here for the outcome. We're here to make sure that you spiritually receive what what is what you feel like, what you think you're gonna be receiving. Amen. Not believing or having faith and overcoming all your strongholds. All your barriers and yourself. Amen. Praise God. The, the Lord tells us that we can't do one and leave the other ones undone. He says, scribes and uh, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe and mint and anise and coming and omit the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy and faith they ought to have done this and not leave the other ones only undone amen something for you brothers and sisters as we're sitting here going through this last day of of to draw close to the lord amen and understand what he's talking about what he's talking about not us amen god is too good beloved brothers and sisters I just have to come on here each day because today is the last day and we get to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And to be standing in true freedom and understanding about the judgments and everything that's happening to this world and everything else that's coming. Amen. For many people have transgressed and broken the everlasting covenant. And many people, spirits, all of you saints that have an ear to hear, God don't fall away. Amen. Please don't fall away because you know what? In that day, you can't point fingers because you had a Bible in your hand. You can't point fingers and, and make excuses because the Lord tells us, study to show yourself approved. Amen. And know that the Lord has called us unto righteousness. Amen. And nothing else, Spirit. Amen. God is too good. And forgive yourself. Ask God help you forgive yourself. Amen. Because some people don't, y'all having problems with that.
Bless your way this holy day, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. And praise the Lord for who he is. Amen. Let us pray. I love y'all. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day that you've given us to praise you, to worship, to glorify you, Father God, and to thank you for, for being with us out in the wilderness, Holy Father. For above you, there is no one beside you, Master Christ, as you and Monsieur Jesus, there is no other. Adonai, O Shaddai, Lord of hosts is your name. Great Yahweh, great I am. A-I-A, we bless your holy name, Father God. Each and every day we ask you to touch our hearts, Father God. Continue cleansing us, continue purging us, continue purifying us. Continue lighting our way, continue giving us that desire, Father God, to sit here to seek you and to want to know you, Father God. Not to know of you, but to know you, Lord. For above you, Master, there is no one. And beside you, there is no one, Lord. By faith and believing you, I know you're working, Lord. And we thank you where we are in the wilderness, Father God. We're asking you to forgive our forefathers, forgive our own stubbornness and our own rebelliousness and our own stiff thinkingness, Father God. For we know that you are a God that shows partiality to no man. And we thank you, Lord, that you're sitting here and giving us an opportunity to get right with you and to learn your ways, Lord. By faith and believing you, Lord, I know that you are working. In Christ the Shield, Monsieur Jesus, mighty name we pray. Victory. Abakushebe Uleva. All throughout our history. Abakushebe. Your faithfulness has walked beside me. The winter storms made way for spring. In every season, from where I'm standing, I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life, all over my life. I see your promises and fulfillment all over my life. All over my life Help me remember when I'm weak The fear may come, fear will leave You lead our hearts to victory You are our strength and you always will be. I see the promises and fulfillments all over my life, all over my life. I see your promises and fulfillments all over my life, all over my life. I see the cross, the empty grave, the evidence is endless. All my sins rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. I see the cross, the empty grave, the evidence is endless. All my sins rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. Oh, Evidence of your goodness all over my life, all over my life. I see your promises and fulfillment all over my life, all over my life. I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life, all over my life.
of the Lord. Amen. It, it's awesome to be found truly in the Lord and to be blessed with the Spirit, saints. God bless you all.